So greetings, comrades, allies, fellow artists, witches, warlocks, whatever you may be. I am now past two months here in Guanajuato, Mexico, where I have rented my own house. First time to have an entire house to myself. Profound because my studio is not in my bedroom. My partner left about six or seven weeks ago. Here are the flowers he left. They grow more beautiful with time. Just like my face. And I wanted to show you the fruits of my labor because tomorrow I will be hanging a small solo show at a place downtown called Envision Arte. And I wanted to show the fruits of my labor. Here is my studio working space for the month. It's been glorious, actually. There's, um, I'm in Valencia, Valenciana, which is actually a municipality outside the city. So the city's down there. So... I want to start off with the big in since there's some things to say about it. When I got here, I had already become intrigued with the Gospel of Mary Magdalene, the interpretation by Jean Yves Leloup. And you will see there the Coptic script, which is. Um, was originally used for that gospel. So this piece has taken me probably a total of six weeks. I did not know where it was going to go. I had this image in my mind. Centaurs are definitely a repeating pattern in my life. These guys kind of ended up looking a little bit more sheep-like. So I was, I've been thinking, you know, Lamb of God from my days of Catholic upbringing. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Remember that one, if you're Catholic? So anyway, so it was almost finished. And then, but the bodies of the lambs remained empty. And I didn't know how to finish the piece. I was afraid I was going to wreck it. And what I had been working with was part of this gospel, which... Um, the teaching just simply says there is no sin. It goes beyond that, and Lulup um, interpret it, interprets it very beautifully. But that was as far as I had gotten. What those two inscriptions now say came from come from a writing that really impressed itself upon me, and I will read that now to you. The seven manifestations of wrath, they oppress the soul with questions. Where do you come from, murderer? And where are you going, vagabond? The soul answered, this is what the soul answered, that which oppressed me has been slain. That which encircled me has vanished. My craving has faded and I am freed from my ignorance. So I had been doing some work and still am doing work on the shadow and really wanted to banish some things from my life and was having um, a bit of anxiety as well. And I found that that prayer really helped me to move through and beyond that. So that's that piece. What we have on the floor here, there's a few pieces on the floor. This is a definite, it's a work in progress. So we've got lots of layers going on. I don't know if it's going to be finished. We're hanging the show tomorrow and then I have another week where I might have time to finish it. But it is far from finished. These are the under layers right now. texture, pushing the paint and the cold wax through 
a screen, some collage elements. This is cold wax and oil on a board that I found on a walk outside. So I brought raw canvas with me, which is why this one is taped on a piece of masonite that I found down the street so that I can roll these paintings up and bring them with me when I leave. I did some small pieces. This one ended up looking quite like a waterfall. It's on the mixed media there. I had aspirations to, um, as I usually do, to assemble things with bits and pieces that I found along trails and whatnot. There's some screen and some debris, but I don't know if I'm gonna have time for that. Here is a small work in progress. This was a scene, um, again, far from finished, but it's a scene looking up. There's these um, mausoleums, I guess you would call them, and those are all drawers where the bodies are stored. And this city is famous for its mummies because it's so dry here that when the bodies were disinterred at a certain point in time, I think because um, the inhabitants couldn't pay the rent for the mausoleum anymore, the bodies were extremely well intact, mainly from the turn of the century. So they're not, they're, they're only, they're just about a hundred years old, these mummies. I went and saw them. Um, it was very striking. It was a very striking experience, especially um, the one of the woman who apparently had been buried alive by accident, which apparently used to happen quite a lot. So this is the book that has been inspiring me and comforting me. I highly recommend it. Another good book if you're interested in cold wax. And um, this man is a, a Mexican artist that I encountered when I came here. And his work is disturbing, um, which I am often drawn to somewhat dark and disturbing pieces. But um, check him out, I'm sure his, his stuff is online. This was the first piece I started when I came here. It started with just a lot of improvisation, lines scribbling around like most of my pieces. There's Sagittarius up in the sky there on the left if you see him pointing his arrow down, and it says derecho on the left, which means straight. I'll give you um, a clear and concise interpretation of my paintings when I'm old, or maybe somebody else will do it when, when I'm dead, because oftentimes I actually don't really, I only know fragments. So fragments, here we have fragments. This um, shape, these pieces, are called alternately nave and narthex, which refer to the entryways and the entry, um, the entry genitalia of churches. Uh, they are also inspired by the symbolism of the wound, the symbolism of the vulva, seed pods. The, the motif just continuously returns and comes back to me. And I found when I was working these pieces off of some ideas I had in my sketchbook that they returned again. And then here's an actual seed pod from this landscape. Because on the East Coast where I usually live of the United States, of the US, of the Americas, my inspiration in nature was milkweeds. But also thinking a lot about the voice, the voice of the goddess and the voice of the enraged witch, which I have been working with a lot lately. Um, just very old angers that have been buried because that's what kids do. So one more piece I want to show you. Outside here.
I have been painting out here. I have been dancing out here. I did have a doggy friend, but he um, liberated himself from that fenced in enclosure to chase after cows, which are often down yonder. And I have not seen him since. He was sweet, but I, um, I'm glad that he found his liberation, frankly. He didn't like it in that pen. So here's the final piece and you will see again, this current motif of vulva, seed pod, milkweed. wound. I started this piece with splashings of paint you'll see dripping down there and newspaper collage which now you really cannot see a lot of but it does peek through in places. The text. It's helpful when the text is in a language that you don't really speak because then you're less distracted into reading it. So yeah, here it is. So that's what I've done in my two months. I have a month left, three weeks left in this place, and then I will be moving on. So thanks for watching.